guys, I'm just going to preempt this video by saying that there's going to be a lot of emotional stuff and part of it because I had a really bad day, a few days actually, with my son and yeah, that's all I have to say. Just that this, everything I say is pretty much real. I try to be real with my my channel, and um, yeah, you guys know me. You've been watching me. I've been watching me for years, so you know, you know. But. We are having a super bad day. This is real. This is real life vlogging. It's not anything cheery and happy. This is real life. Son woke me up at 5 a.m. Okay, first of all, I fell asleep last night in the closet and I didn't want to move in because I didn't want him to wake up. So I left the door open, turned off the light. He wakes up at 5 a.m. screaming and yelling, so I tell him he can come in bed with me. And because I won't let him have the light on because it's 5 a.m. and I'm tired, he loses it completely. And then after that, I finally got him to fall asleep, but we woke up. About 7.55, something like that, 7.50. And everything was okay for a little while until I had to use the bathroom and then he just completely lost it because he just screamed and yelled at the top of his lungs and started kicking the bathroom door because I wasn't out there to watch his show with him, a certain part he wanted me to watch. Mom life. And then he decided it's funny to hurt mama. It's funny to squeeze her arm and pinch her and dig into her and hurt her. So gave him chances, gave him a timeout, and traditional timeouts don't work anymore. Because he screams at the top of his lungs and bangs and hits the door. To the point where I'm afraid he's going to actually break it. I know he's only three, but still. So, timeouts are now me holding him. Holding his arms down until he calms down, which he never calms down. And then we try to have a conversation, and then he's just, I think, a fool still. So, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get him to go outside, and he won't. <laughs> I said this is this is real I'm trying to be real as I can on my channel and I'm just miserable right now literally I'm miserable I'm failing at everything with my son I know I'm not a bad mom I'm doing my best but I'm just failing at everything anyway so yeah, I just feel like I'm failing at everything, I'm failing at potty training. It's so freaking hard. I don't know how. If anybody tells you that potty training is easy, it's not. You must have a miracle child. Because this one. I think I'm going to have to be going back to like every 30 minutes making him go to the bathroom. Or like every 45 minutes checking on him because he throws a major fit now and refuses to go. 
And I don't know what to do about it. I'm trying. I'm just so tired. I don't want to be on here complaining about my child. And I love him. I love him a lot. But he's just really pushing me to the breaking point. I had to drag him up the stairs kicking and screaming. Literally. I just can't. I need a break. And I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't. I can't get one. I just... I just need him to be in a good mood. I haven't had a good day with him since that day that he found the ornament. And I was like, a week and a half, almost two weeks ago. Today is a terrible, horrible day. I just don't know what to do anymore. Still being that way. I don't know what to do. Just feel like walking away sometimes. Like that's a terrible thing to say. I'm just so angry and so upset. I just don't know what to do anymore. Good morning. I have no idea what day it is. I think it's the 13th. So far today is a lot better. My eyes are still puffy from crying and being tired. But today is a lot better than yesterday. Just, what are you doing? Anyway, so, I'm trying to have a little more structured day to avoid fighting. So, we'll see how that goes. So far, it's been okay. husband's been worried about me because I just read a big long email last night about how I've been feeling about stuff and he came home he's such an amazing person he told me a surprise for me so he came home with this which is I'm not going to open it but well maybe I will it's the apocalypse bath bomb actually yesterday he came home with the vanilla one the one that I just did. So I spent like $14 on bath bombs in the past couple of days for me because they're like seven bucks a piece because they're like all handmade and everything. So this is the black one. This is the one for muscle aches and stuff and it's just, it smells very mentally but kind of good. Like it will open up my sinuses. It's supposed to be really good for that kind of stuff. Your muscles and your aches and pains and circulation. So it is called Apocalypse. And I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. One of those days when Hugo's home. And he brought me more pumpkin spice coffee. So yeah, he got me that. And I'm so excited. And... I'm about ready to edit the past couple of days of videos. And that's about it for me.